Hi guys, it's Ariana. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be talking about this brand new wig that I just got in the mail. So it is a black and silver wig. It's cut right down the middle and it has a fringe right across my forehead, which is bangs. I am kind of unsure about this wig. So how it looks right now is really pretty. It's really, really long. It goes down to about there. It's really gorgeous. The material of the wig, like it's a very soft wig. It feels really nice. The curls are really nice. The only thing that I'm a little less than enthused about is the bangs. So how the bangs are previewed on the website, I'll post the picture right here. They have them so that they kind of stop about here on the mannequin and then all of their model photos, so girls that are on Instagram or girls that have purchased the wigs or whoever they have wearing their wigs for their website's photos, all have really, really short bangs. So they are previewing this wig as having really short bangs, but when you get it in the mail, the bangs are down to here. What the I don't fuck? buy wigs so that I have to cut them. I buy wigs so that I don't have to style them. I buy curly wigs for the, the whole purpose of not having to curl my hair. I don't really buy wigs because I'm a hairdresser. I don't really know how to cut hair, and now I'm stuck with a wig that I have to ball up underneath a hat or pin up because I don't know how to cut the bangs. So I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. I'm not exaggerating. So I have to put the bangs all up there. So. This is how long, with the wig on, sitting how it is supposed to sit on me, this is where the wig's bangs stop. I don't know how to cut bangs and I don't want to ruin this wig because this wig was like $90. So I am very annoyed. I'm also less than enthused about the fact that it took three weeks for this wig to get to me. I ordered it about three weeks ago and usually when you order from Eva, it usually comes between like two or three days. And I had to contact them three or four times asking them where my item was. Why had I ordered it two weeks prior and it hadn't even shipped? And they kept saying, oh, it'll ship soon, oh, it'll ship soon. And it's like, okay, that's great. I, I don't care if it'll ship soon. Why hasn't it shipped? Like there wasn't anything on the website that said that there was going to be a delay or anything so I was really curious like why did it take so long for me to get my, my item. And so they finally emailed me back and they were like, oh this wig um, needs to go to a specialty hairdresser or whoever, the barber, so that they get specially cut it. But if they're specially cutting this, if they are specially cutting this wig, why did I receive it like this? So many freaking questions and I just don't understand and I don't want to take scissors to this wig and cut it to a normal length where bangs should be because I'm not a hairdresser and I know I will fuck that up. So now I have a wig that I have to pin like this to wear it out in public which looks really bad or I have to do like a duff puff which I'm sure I probably could figure out if I get enough hair and then do like a poof or whatever, or I could just throw it on underneath the hat. But now I'm more than likely probably gonna have to go pay a hairdresser to cut my bangs for me, cut my fringe for me, because I don't wanna fuck this wig up. And I've seen so many tutorials online of how to do it, and oh, you could do it like this, and it's so easy, but I suck at doing my hair. I'm terrible, this is why I wear wigs. <laughs> but that portion of this video over, this is a really pretty wig and it's really gorgeous. I love the fact that, I'm gonna take it off my hat off again. I love the fact that it is straight down the middle, half white, well, kind of, it's gray. Half gray, half black. I think it looks really cool. Once the bangs are cut and I can actually see <laughs> when I'm wearing this wig, it'll look really, really cool. I'm getting like, Bride of Frankenstein vibes with this wig. I think it's really pretty. I love the gray color. It's such a pretty color and the black. Hard to tell with my backdrop, but it is just like a straight solid black curly wig and it's really gorgeous and it's really long. And it reminds me of my fiery red wig that I got from Star Style Wigs and it has like the same waves and it's really pretty and I really like it. I just wish that they didn't advertise 
the bangs being so much shorter than what you're actually going to receive because if you don't know how to cut hair, you're, you might be stuck with a wig that you can't wear as advertised, which is a little frustrating. Like, usually it's it's really not that big of a deal just to throw a hat on, but if you wanted this wig for the purpose of it being straight down the middle, white and black, or for a cosplay or something, then this would be a little bit disappointing because you would have to take it to somewhere to get them to cut the hair for you. and Or you could get one of your friends or you could risk doing it yourself. I just don't think I'm going to risk it because I don't want to fuck this wig up and literally not be able to wear it at all without a hat on. I think that would be terrifying and terrible and so disappointing. So I'm going to take it to a hairdresser and get them to cut it for me, but I'm still really frustrated. <laughs> but other than that, this wig is really, really gorgeous and really pretty. I would say my rating out of five stars would be about a three right now because I'm really disappointed that it took so long to get to me and that there was nothing on the website signifying that it was going to take three weeks to ship it or two weeks to ship it and then a week to get to me. I know I live in Canada, so I know that shipping does take a little bit longer, but it wasn't a shipping issue. It was them not shipping it issue. So if it takes longer for them to process, I wish they would like let me know in an email when I order it or before I order it, let us know on the website that it's gonna take a little bit longer. I don't know. But I think it's a really pretty wig. It's really gorgeous, it's really long, it feels really nice. It, the curls are really pretty and so far I'm really excited to wear it. So I'm probably going to get somebody to cut the bangs ASAP so I can start wearing it out. But as for now, I'll probably just rock it with a beanie on or something because <laughs> the bangs are not wearable. One eternity later. Okay, so that was literally like four days later that I finally got to my city and went to work and I did my whole week of my life and I finally got to my hairdresser today so she could fix the ridiculousness that was these bangs. So they are finally fixed. I have them cut to the way that I would normally have bangs or style bangs if I liked them. So now that the bangs are a little bit more normal, um, I do think this is a really nice wig. I do like the quality of the hair that it came. I do think that it tangles a little bit faster than um, some of my other wigs, like especially right around the, the nape of the neck and at the ends and stuff. I do find that my star style wig, my red curly one, is better quality hair. Um, they're about the same price, so Eva hair ranges about 90 to 109 USD for per wig, and star style wigs is is about the same. They're about $100 per each wig. So I would I would personally recommend star style wigs over Eva hair if you have never purchased a wig from either of these brands before. I do really like the quality of this hair over this one. I prefer this hair. Um, it's just much better quality in my opinion. I think this is a really nice wig. Um, the quality is nice, but it's not as good as Star Style wigs, and the curls seem to fall pretty quickly and they get tangled really, really easily, and it's just kind of a little bit frustrating, but I mean, it is a wavy style and it is a very long wig, so I am kind of just used to it, wigs like this getting tangled really easily, and it's not the end of the world, it's not the biggest deal, it's just something to note when you are purchasing a wig. So I do think that this wig is really pretty. It is a lovely wig. I do I do really think it's beautiful. I am just less than pleased with how the bangs came. I did reach out to the company on Instagram and on email and I asked them, I sent them pictures. I just said, okay, if this is what you're advertising and this is what I received, like why would you show your advertisement photo on your website with bangs that are clearly altered. Why wouldn't you show me the product that I'm actually getting? And they do show the wig on a, ma on a mannequin, which the bangs come to just a little bit longer than I have them now. They come to probably about my eyes. Whereas when I received them, you guys saw, it, they were down here. Those, that's a little bit too ridiculous. Like that is, nobody has a forehead that fucking big. And if you do, well like shitty, but I mean, normal people don't. So. Why are why did the bangs come down fucking here? Like that's ridiculous. Like I don't know. Maybe I just have a weirdly shaped face and my face is just smaller than normal. But I don't know. I just I'm a little turned off from buying wigs from this company just simply because I don't feel that they were very truthful with 
how they advertised this wig. Um, I do wish that they would have just advertised it with how I was going to receive it rather than showing me what the model clearly altered um, because it was dramatically different. But overall, I do think this is a beautiful wig. I am glad that I got it on sale. I think I've, I believe I only paid like $80 for it. Regular, it is 109 USD, so in Canadian money that would be about $130. And then that was already marked down. It's regularly on sale, or it's regularly priced as $135. And in Canadian, after you, it's all converted from USD, that would be a $185 wig. So I'm really glad that I got this for like a lot cheaper than that because I would be very disappointed if I had received this mess of a wig for $185. I, I would have sent it back. <laughs> but I do like how my my friend, my friend that is a hairdresser, I do like how she styled and cut the bangs for me. They do look really nice now. I do like that it's a straight down the middle, half black, half white wig. I think it's really cool. It's a really fun wig and um, I'm overall, I'm really, really happy I purchased it. I'm just a little turned off from this company right now. But other than that, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope this video was helpful. In case you guys were interested in purchasing this wig, just know that it's not going to come how they're showing it on the website. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys at my next video. Bye. Also, one last thing I want to add in. It smells like perfume, so it's kind of weird. It's not like a standard wig kind of smell. It smells like somebody's perfume, so obviously the person who cut the wig was had very strong perfume on, but it's a very, very strong scent, so that's a little strange. But other than that, it's a pretty wig. So I will show you guys what the back of it looks like. So here is the back of the wig. It's super long, super pretty, super gorgeous. It is a lace front wig and I already took the lace off obviously because I wanted to see how the bangs worked <laughs> and they don't. But it's just a standard lace front wig. Um, the inside of the wig is just a standard cap. It has the three clips that clip onto the bottom of your hair so one of them is clipped in right now but they look like this. So it's just a little clip and then it goes underneath your wig cap and it fastens in place. They do send out wig caps when you purchase them. It's really awesome. You can never have enough wig caps, so that's really great. And it comes in a little box that says Eva Hair, and it's really awesome. The shipping usually only takes about two days. So if you have a if you order a wig that is not needing special barber cut whatever on it, then it usually you'll have you'll get the wig. If you live in Canada, you'll usually get it between two to three days. So that's really great. Usually the shipping's awesome. But other than that, this is a really, really pretty wig. I'm really excited to start wearing it, and yeah. But thank you guys for watching. Bye.